With almost a year since the Parkland school shooting in Florida, March for Our Lives is still working towards improving school safety for students. A new bill would target mental health. Reporter Stealthy. Gabriella Becerra talked with the leaders about House Bill 2597. March for Our Lives students spent their morning lobbying at the Capitol for their new bill, HB 2597, which was drafted with the concern of mental health in mind. Many students stepped forward to share their own battles with mental health to get their point across. Why? Why are we doing this? It's because of stories like mine. Joshua Ashton says he was diagnosed with depression after he attempted suicide. For weeks before my attempt, I knew I should have seen a counselor at school, but how could I when my counselor didn't even know my name? Because of stories like Ashton's, the March for Our Lives group, mostly students, drafted House Bill 2597, mandating all Arizona schools have a school safety plan by 2022. Jordan Harb helped write the bill, focusing on mental health. But what's different about our school safety plan is it's not about tackling the, the school shooter who comes on campus. It's about paying attention to the kids that are inside about investing in students. Harb says the bill will include identifying students in need of help from the counseling department or mental health institutions. These things are also school safety. It's not just school shooters, it's also the kid across from me who's struggling, who's feeling depressed, who's having a hard time in their coursework. Arizona School Counselor Association Advocacy Chair Anna Cicero says the bill is a call for more counselors. With the school counselor ratio of 900 students to one, it is almost an impossible task to get to all of the students that are crying for help. This week, Governor Doug Ducey issued a proclamation and proposed a new bill that would give $12 million to Arizona schools to hire 112 counselors this year and 112 next. But the legislature has not yet taken that up. We need to protect those lives and not just by reacting, but by being proactive. This bill is sponsored by Senator Kate Brophy McGee and Representative Daniel Hernandez. March for Our Lives students spent the rest of their day at the Capitol meeting with legislators in hopes of telling their stories and having their bill heard. In, in the Broadcast Center, Gabriela Becerra, Cronkite News.